My name is Erima Devida Kathleen Sylvia Na Akoswa Banga, but you could call me the Erima. And I am from Sierra Leone and I am the creative artist and the owner of the Erima Enterprise and it's a creative space and a safe space for us. My mom, I would say, is my biggest inspiration because I'd like to take you back to 1999 when we came back from the Gambia to Sierra Leone after she had got some mentorship from Auntie Dara, who was a Nigerian, who taught my mom, who was a refugee at that particular time, about balloon artistry and everything that she is supposed to know. And coming back to Sierra Leone, I think the major people that were key players in the event industry would be Milian and my mom at that time. And later on we saw an influx of other event planners and other event decorators. So I would say that my mom is one of the biggest inspirations for me to enter into this particular field. So firstly, the whole space has been digitalized, so we have different outlets wherein we source out inspirations from there's Pinterest, there's Google, there's Instagram, there's TikTok. All these spaces, you can actually find ideas from them. But I love to have an authentic view of my work, therefore Sometimes I would look at the pictures that I want as inspiration and after that I get to sketch them. 3D could be a bit of an issue for me because yes, I'm still trying to get my grasp on it but I'm very much keen on drawing my designs. That's why I have my sketch pad and you could see me drawing 24 seven and that's okay by me. And after we get to draw them, then we go to the manufacturers who get to produce these particular set designs and we get to execute them and we get to set them up on the day of the event. So in every single um, event, we try to find a way how we can actually settle in for the centerpiece levels, whether it's tall or we need it to be in a low form. We try to figure it out because sometimes when we use the tall vases, you'd find out that um, the wind could be one of the factors disturbing us. So we would rather have the low floral arrangements which could be on the table sitting. So it depends on how you arrange them. That's what's going to help you out in the centerpiece arrangements and have them in a thicker, fuller way. For clients, some do know what they want which is a plus for me if you know what you want as a client. But some other clients do not have an iota of information as to what they would like on the day. So you basically just hear them say, so you just speak for me, you just spend for me. And with my background, with colors, art, texture, and everything combined together, I try to do the best that I can to give them to create a mood board where they can be able to see what they want, bring their designs to life 
and if i do not have these particular things at the moment i try to collaborate with other event creatives and come together because i think there's one thing that is key to this you do not need to be greedy you do not need to hoard everything to yourself because if you do that then your client is going to suffer especially on days when you do not have exactly what you need from that particular client you have to outsource it from other event creatives so that is basically how we collaborate and we bring these designs to life so first of all i would tell you about the elements of each of the set designs because these are what make up a very good set design structure you look at the color you look at the shapes you look at the texture these three elements are key for a particular set design to have its life and to allow people to see the beauty of it. Wood is one of my favorites. I do not work with metal as much because I feel they get rusty quite, quite early on and maybe they're bendable sometimes. Although wood does sometimes break and um, you have to be repairing constantly, but I prefer wood. Getting capital. Capital is one huge challenge, especially when you know where you want to get to. When, I think it was 20, 2023, I wrote a business plan and I sent it to five different people. Only one person returned with the promise of actually fulfilling what I wanted in terms of capital and it's yet to be fulfilled. So I'm still making progress to find it on my own. But then again, you still have to find a way to outsource funds because looking at uh, um, the materials that are here now, everything is expensive. To build a new set, you would spend not less than 15 to 30 million leons, uh, old notes, 30,000 new notes for some certain designs. And if you do not have the money at hand, or if you're not willing to spend, then you can't get that exactly what you're looking for. So I think that that's one big challenge. And another thing that, um, could be another major challenge is ageism and sexism. Ageism in the sense that I find a lot of clients being disrespectful towards me because of my age. They would come and you charge a certain amount and they'll be like, oh, you're too small for the charging kind of money they are. Small so people like, you wait till you do that money day. And my question to you would be, if you knew I was a kid, why would you come to me for something that I can do and you couldn't do it for yourself? If you could do it for yourself, then that's fine. But you came to me and you're actually seeking my expertise, so you have to pay me what I'm worth. I might look tiny to you, I might look petite to you, but this is quite sharp. That's what I have to remind you of. And sexism, in a sense where um, I can't put it in a point where we would say you're being sexually harassed but because I am a woman and I tend to have a very attractive appeal when I get to go to work because you have to be attractive. I feel like the notion of people when they get to see event creatives they think of them as older women wearing gowns so they're willing to have a picture of you in their head that they're gonna meet this big woman. So every time I get to speak to my clients over the phone, they and then they get to see me, they're like, eh, now this small picky name they talk to me today. And it's quite crazy because I'm not a kid. I'm 25 going on 26 in several cultures. Probably I'll be married with so many kids by now, but I'm not. I'm still under parental care, so that's fine and I'm okay with that. I would like to first of all say be perseverant. If you get to persevere in this particular field, you'd, you'd have to yield the results. 
because honestly it is not an easy road you should be ready to spend a lot of money there sometimes you're not going to get your investments on return made a conscious decision to not work a 9 to 5 to do this full time so i give all my energy all my life to this particular thing and another thing that i think that um upcoming set designers would want to do is to look out at trends that are going around the internet and try to see how you can be able to have it molded with your form of authenticity because i think that we cannot reach the level of nigeria now it's not a possibility but we can try in our own little way to use what we have to get what we want so if you're able to use that particular thing to your advantage then i think it could work for you and i feel it's a very good field and i feel like if we have the human capital as well as the monetary capital then i think would go far we'll go way beyond our own expectations i would love to see a lot of other young females coming into this especially because i know that um you'd want to say okay a man can be a set designer and the first thing you think about is a carpenter but no you can be a carpenter but then you do not have the skills and the uh, um what's it called the inspiration to put these pieces together and put the colors together and put the illusions together in terms of the texture the colors the shapes you cannot do it on your own you need someone else to do that for you so i'd like to say that i need to see a lot of women coming on board and let's work on different projects there are concerts that need stages that we need to build there are videos that we need to shoot there are photographs that needs to be taken you name it broadcast tv shows that need set designs all of these are important so firstly i would want to own a huge art enterprise that can be able to supply schools as well as artists all their artistic supplies and also get to teach people how to do these particular set designs because I do not wish to keep this information to myself with time I would open it up to other people and teach them and also have an enterprise wherein I do not only keep these set designs to myself to my business but I also supply other event creators that do not have access to this because instead of going to China and going to other countries abroad to go buy these things we can actually build them down in Sierra Leone and if you can have a one stop shop manufacturer in Sierra Leone that can actually use local products to produce these things then I think it would be an amazing thing for all of us in Sierra Leone so I wish to have my name engraved deep and embedded in arts and creativity and culture to be reminded to to have people be reminded that arts is at the core of our existence to you